Hello students, welcome to Edusel. This video we are going to discuss about minimum spanning tree. Uh, before that we should discuss what is spanning tree and why it is needed. So we know the basic difference between graph and a tree is cycle is there in graph. Okay, but there is no cycle in tree. Those who are new to this video, kindly check the graph, like uh, the detailed lecture video that could be better to understand how many graphs are there, why graph is important, there we discussed. And a little bit implications of graph on trees, we can use graph in map but not tree in the map because though you start from one location, you will be definitely reaching to that location might be possibility is there like you are using google map you started uh, your journey from your home definitely if you're if you're new to a particular place from that place definitely you'll reach back to your home that is why a cycle could be formed okay so to maintain that cycle the proper data structure we are using is graph and the representation of graph is either through adjacency list or through adjacency matrix like in a matrix form where we are keeping like these detailed videos are all about like how representing the nodes or vertices in a graph okay that we discussed that time so there in a matrix it's b square we are writing and for adjacency list so we are using uh, linked list that is why we are using v plus e as a time complexity that we have already discussed okay now spanning tree why it is needed though we know graph that you have seen graph is definitely a connected graph we can say is like this means all vertices are connected okay we can say a spanning tree why it is needed means suppose uh, you want to find a better approach to reach all the vertices clear uh, it should not be a cycle because cycle could have a problem like you can say suppose i can add certain weight weight is suppose one two uh, three here okay my target is i'll start from a and i reach to b as well as c with suppose less weight less weight okay less weight means i'll pick one as well as i'll pick two have two options clear like two uh, one option i can keep one which will give us the correct result uh, to reach from a to c another is will give us the correct result to connect a to b this is what possible from our side but this is a proper case for minimum one if we want maximum nobody needs it but if anyone needs maximum in that case what we will do based on the uh, weight or uh, we can uh, reach a to b by keeping this two then from b to c three okay like three which we can easily cover okay it's a part of covering all the vertices is all about spanning tree means we are going to cover means we have to visit at least once uh, through which we are here trying to remove the concept of cycle which is a cyclic uh, graph you are maintaining means it's not a graph you, you can say if one edge is getting discarded also we can say it's a spanning tree like your three edges are there if you discard any of this clear any of the edge suppose again i'm just using this a node node could be set properly suppose this i'm using and i have discarded b to c clear this is called a spanning tree clear this is called a spanning tree but the spanning tree whether it is possible a one or two or many if a question could arise 
will definitely think if if the uh, we will discuss later also in the properties if there are other edges with a different weighted edges like here one two three clear there are different weighted edges through which though we are asking about spanning treatments we need to remove one one edges only like this is spanning tree this is first spanning tree or second spanning tree you can say a b c you can keep a to c and then b to c this is spanning tree 2 as well as spanning tree 3 could be look like this a to b then C is getting connected. This is spanning tree 3. Okay. So spanning tree is all about oh, we need to go for n minus 1 no edges, keeping n minus 1 edges, or you can say v minus 1 edges. Clear through which we can say the v's or n stands for the vertices okay. this is what we are going to find the spanning tree also it is written here the proper uh, definition is given a connected and directed graph that should be connected and undirected graph through which we can find a spanning tree that I told you if a graph is connected and undirected then only it would be possible for us to find only the connections we don't worry about a cycle if cycle is there we should have to remove first okay so that could be done in minimum spanning tree while finding the minimum spanning tree using uh, two methods like Kruskal and Prince the cyclic property will be applicable there but here what we have to keep in mind if it is creating a cycle definite is a part of graph so we have to discard the cyclic manner while finding the spanning tree because tree is there no cycle could be formed okay so given connected directed graph a spanning tree of a graph is a subgraph of the tree we can say like the nodes we are not removing though we are not removing the nodes definitely it's a subgraph of the graph which has been given to us as for the example okay so there is suppose a b c and d clear there are four nodes uh, which you can say there are four edges too clear there are four edges too if we want to create a spanning tree you can say it's also could be created through which we can uh, remove the cycle second one could also be possible through which we are removing the cycle we are not whether about anything excluding the cycle clear because cycle is just a loop for us here we are taking a loop through which we may reach to the locations but though it is undirection or uh, uh, undirected which is bidirectional so that's why we are removing that one and uh, the spanning tree is all about like removing one edge here you can check the properties I kept for you. There may be several minimum spanning trees could be possible. Okay. With the same weight having the minimum number of edges. Clear? That could be possible, not an issue. If if all edge weights of a given graph are same, this is definitely you should have to remember. If same, then every spanning tree graph is a minimum spanning tree we can say but we didn't start with a minimum spanning tree just remember it then each age has distinct weight suppose there are distinct weight so you can say only one or unique minimum spanning tree could be formed we will be discussing that later on but just remember it okay if you want to find a minimum spanning tree means the minimum number of weight could be fixed that we will be dis uh, discussing next uh, page and here 
connected graph g can be have more than one spanning tree that we discussed recently okay so disconnected graph cannot have the spanning tree or cannot span all the vertices means we are not going to reach all vertices immediately we just uh, that should be connected first okay if it is disconnected we cannot reach to that uh, node you can say suppose a graph is like this b here this is disconnected now suppose clear disconnected we cannot say we cannot form a spanning tree why because our target in a spanning tree is if it is connected if it is connected so our target is either we can remove this through which we can reach all the vertices which we are indirectly doing the vertex cover we are covering each vertices so without covering each vertices we cannot say that it is possible or spanning tree could be possible okay so we repeatedly discuss about this one spanning tree does not content cycle as well as spanning tree has n minus 1 edges that we recently discussed n minus 1 edges and where n is number of vertices you can say v minus 1 edges 2 clear where v is the vertices means only one edge if you are removing only one edge out of the uh, spanning tree which is forming a cycle so if you, you are removing that one that is a part of spanning tree also clear so now we will go to the minimum spanning tree here in minimum spanning tree it is written minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree which has minimum total cost cost or you can say weight okay weight is assigned or cost is assigned here you can say as for the example here we have written the cost as we discussed in the property if they are distinct no? if they are distinct only one or unique MST could be formed. You can check here. It is written clearly. And third point, if distinct weight, na, definitely one minimum spanning tree could be possible. In uh, competitive exams, it is asking. Though we know spanning tree could be formed more than one. But if distinct weight, definitely one or unique minimum spanning tree could be formed. So here, you can check as for the example what we have to find we have to keep only the minimum edge which is connected to the uh, nodes okay so here we can compare uh, there are methods like we will discuss in later videos uh, where we will discuss about Kruskal how it is working also we will discuss about the Prem's algorithm how it is working but before that we should just find the approach through which uh, as for this example we kept the lowest this is 10 next highest to that lowest which we picked is 15 okay next highest we are keeping so 16 here clear next 17 and we are not keeping 18 why because it it forms a cycle and why we are removing this 20 because it it will form a cycle if you keep this now it will form a cycle that's why we're removing that one as well as we keep in mind though it is maximum also we are not picking it the minimum we are actually picking so i'm not saying any approach till that we are just saying the basic details why we are not keeping this age here it will create a cycle though it is uh, uh, you can say undirected means bidirected or directed means suppose it is written means it's a bi-directional it can reach from one end to another end also vice versa could be possible that is why you can say though i told you the distinct values that we kept so the cost the minimum spanning tree means the cost you can find is 17 16 total is 58 less than that is not possible so one at least one mst could be formed from a graph or from a connected graph you can say at least one or more than one could be possible if you are taking the weight as similar like two or three edges where it could be similar so you can expect more than similar minimum cost a minimum cost spanning tree okay so other could be formed but the cost which you got will not be equal to or less than that 
that is why we are saying it's a minimum suppose in case anyone is asking about the maximum so in that case you pick the maximum one suppose i'm just creating that one but maximum spanning tree is not being asked because nobody is interested for maximum that is why i'm just creating for maximum one just for the knowledge only whenever i'm finding the maximum i'm just keeping the maximum first okay uh, next maximum is 18 this is not an approach this is just a you can say this is not an algorithm we are running or just an approach you can say uh, next minimum is sorry next uh, is 17 next is 16 okay sorry. clear so if you form this one might be cycle could be formed so just remove that one also we cannot take this because of cycle clear so this is a maximum we can expect maximum spanning tree is this one maximum spanning tree okay the cost if you want to find is 20 plus 18 plus 16 plus 17 clear this is what the to the maximum spanning tree the cost of the maximum spanning tree but it is not being asked just for an approach i, I just said it but for minimum so minimum could be fixed first so based on that we can uh, reach one by one or we may cover one by one this is how we are finding the minimum spanning tree so a question is being asked what is the number of spanning tree could be possible in complete graph okay possible spanning tree in a complete graph could be you can say n to the power n minus 2 is a complete graph we can say suppose complete graph is a Complete graph is all are connected to each other. If any edge is being discarded, uh, all the vertices could be connected. Like if I if I remove this one also, it will reach to the C by any way. Clear? So uh, the number of edges, number of edges would be N C two or V C two. Clear? Incomplete complete graph in complete graph but the number of spanning trees could be expected as this one you can say if number of nodes i must say is v to the power v minus 2 clear if i say if number of nodes are v if v or n equal to if v is 4 or n is 4 then number of spanning trees could be 4 to the power 4 minus 2 it's 4 square 16 could be possible spanning trees from a complete graph we can expect so this is how we discussed the introduction of the spanning tree and in next videos we are going to discuss about the methods or the approach or the algorithm uh, cruskal and prims the next video i hope it is understood by you thank you for watching have a good day